Oh my god, I just got off work. Uh, I worked an eight hour shift this morning. Um, I'm about to drive to the city. It's about a three and a half hour drive because I'm picking my sister up. She just finished her spring quarter classes. So we're gonna have a little rendezvous together and run around and I'm just so excited. This week has honestly been so hectic. I finished uh, framing the roof, which was really nice, but it was extremely difficult to lift those beams up there. Oh my gosh, that was a lot. And then it was this really windy day and we were putting the sheathing on and it was very difficult to fight with the wind. Um, we had a little bit of some issues <laughs> there, uh, but it was really nice actually because I did have a day off before I went back to work just to kind of relax. I did some yoga. I laid in the meadow for like many hours. <laughs> so yeah, I just had a really nice day dancing and and I worked yesterday and as soon as I got home, it's been so hot here. I mean, it's so hot right now. Um, but yeah, as soon as I got home from work yesterday, I ran straight into that river. Being inside for eight hours working is very difficult in the hot heat. Something I need to get used to. <laughs> what are you doing right now? Ooh. Those raspberries look amazing. I know, they're actually really good. Most of them are kind of inside the plant. I've How were your those. classes this quarter? Very challenging. Yeah. What are you studying? Sustainable agriculture. That's so cool. We can have a farm together. I know. We have to grow a lot of good fruits and vegetables. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, it'll be really fun. These are all my mom's garlic plants. So how many will this create? How many garlic plants will this create? 4,200 plants. Are we gonna plant that at the farm? Amazing. These are a totally different variety and look how big they are. They're big boys. Yeah, they are. We have these scapes at work. Oh, do you? Mm-hmm. Wow, your rhubarb looks amazing. We need to put your sleeping bag in this. Okay. Uh, put mine in that. Uh, 18. Okay, so we got water bottle, filter, filtration. Okay. You bring that motor for the back. We're at a little U Pick farm right now, picking strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> We're on our way back to the farm today, and tomorrow we're going to leave for the mountains, running away to celebrate Alexa finishing school. What time should we leave? Hmm. I wonder how long it's gonna take us to get up there. Well, if the drive takes an hour up the road, mm -hmm. I don't know how long it would take us to hike that far.
So it's about 5.30 in the morning and we're going to leave today for a backpacking trip up the valley. The trail starts in a very strange place. Four or five years ago, there was a really big wildfire up the valley and they completely closed down this road. So um, for many years because of this wildfire, there was a lot of fallen trees and hiking was just not possible even though there's some of the most beautiful hiking trails up there. And as of this year, they've reopened the road. So I've been trying to find the hikes, but there's just not very much information on them. Yeah, it's gonna be an 18 mile hike round trip. No. Oh my god, this is exciting. I can't believe we made it up here. Oh my god. We've been driving for a while. Yeah. Wow. We are on a sheer cliff. Oh. Wow, look at the valley as well. God, that's so pretty. Oh, is that water? That's water. It's so beautiful. <laughs> can you get it? I don't know if you can because it's like... Well, we can't move the tree, but we're thinking maybe we'll just try to... Go over it? Drive over it. <laughs> Is that the trail? I guess so. Yeah. Huh. Here we go. <laughs> Pretty cool. We're so excited we found a water source. Yeah, it's very small though. Yeah, but I think we can get water from there, which is really good because we were scared for a while. <laughs> Alexa's fallen like five times. <laughs> She's all muddy. <laughs> Going through that ravine was definitely the hardest part of the trail because the snow was covering a lot of the trail. So it was really hard to like navigate where to go. And we definitely got lost a couple of times. I felt good though that we did have a compass so we could use that to kind of figure out the direction. But yeah, we kept getting lost. <laughs> Dark-haired man, oh please, please take my hand and lead me, lead me, lead me, lead me on. The light soft on your brow, it shows how you're worried now. I could love you, love you, love you anyhow. This is 
by far the most beautiful thing I've ever been to. I know. Don't you think? Yeah, this I've is, never seen anything else like this before. I've seriously never seen such beauty in my life. And it's so quiet. We are really in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> So kind, so sweet and cute But you're no substitute You got something, something, something calling me Oh sweet, sweet dark-haired man Please, please take my hand You can lead me, lead me, lead me to the birds and looking at the lake I just feel this like sense of freedom and peacefulness where like no thing really matters like we just take life so seriously you know all we really need to do is just smile and laugh and share moments like these with people we love and to just live with this intention in your life now we can like choose to live with a different mindset the mindset of just being you know Oh, man, should ever see. 